What's up guys? This is ANA Hobbies. I'm Corey and today we find ourselves outside of the Lego store at Rideau Center in Ottawa, Canada. So you have the exclusive right now. We are switching out a Lego display at the Lego store. First time I've seen them switch out a Lego display. It was the Elf House. And I don't know what he's going to be pulling out here, but hopefully he'll pull out something new and we'll be able to see it. So like I said, I am here at the Lego store at Rideau Center. As you can tell, the mall is basically dead. And why is that, you might ask? It's because I got here an hour before opening. Why have I come to the Lego store today? Well, it just so happens that a new Lego set has come out and I'm very excited to pick it up. I phoned them last night to see if it was in stock. They said it was in stock, so I came down here. I didn't want to order it online because I was not sure whether I was going to be able to get it in time because we are looking to do this set this Sunday on Building Across the Pond with Martin and myself over on my channel, and I'm really excited to pick this thing up. Aha, it has been revealed what the Lego display has been switched out to be. It is the Batwing, the 1989 Batwing set. I'm going to be picking that up today. It looks like they do have some in stock because he does have at least one box back there behind the counter. And I assume if they're putting it out on display that they're going to have some for me to pick up. So that's exciting. But while we're waiting, because I am the only person here, I will be the first person in line and hopefully the first person to get one. I'll have a look at the Lego displays and they seem to have built a bit of a half globe here rebuild the world it says that's pretty cool it's different from the last time that i was here diagon alley set up on display 75978 this is definitely a set i want to pick up eventually but again as many of you may know i want to pick up the hogwarts castle first in-store only free harry potter hedwig promo with Harry Potter purchases over $40, or well, we're not going for a Harry Potter purchase today, so I don't think I'll be picking that up. But we do have a free exclusive mini Mindstorms robot set. It purchases over $100, we should qualify for that as long as they still have some in stock. And the VIP's monthly sweepstakes is a Batman movie set. Down here we have the Moe's Isley. Over here they have the Nintendo Entertainment System, another set that I'm looking to get together at some point in time. And there we have the Iron Man mosaic. These mosaics look a lot better in person than they do on the box or on any kind of YouTube videos. Probably end up picking some of those up eventually, but I'm not in a big rush for them. And here we have the always beautiful Disney Castle. And this is a set that I'd love to have, but they just keep releasing so many good sets that this one is definitely getting pushed back for me on the must have list. And then we have our typical shark head sig fig guy for this particular store here at Rota Center and a happy Halloween with the Frankenstein Frankenstein's monsters brickhead. So I think what I'm gonna do is just chill out here in my number one spot in the lineup. I don't know if there's gonna be a lineup. I don't know how much of a demand there is for this set, but I'm glad I'm here and glad I'm gonna be able to pick it up because I was fairly nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to get it and not ordering it online, I kind of committed myself to picking it up here from the store. So I'm gonna chill out. I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos on my phone, get caught up on some people's videos. So let's do that. I'll hang out, we'll see what happens, and we'll catch up when the store opens. Any of you Americans, you're missing out on the Canadian Tim Hortons train. The only way to go. Never used to drink coffee until about a year ago. Now I feel like I'm dependent on coffee. So we're 15 minutes out from the Lego store opening. There's still nobody here. I'm still the only person sitting in line. I think I overestimated the demand for this set. Final countdown. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna not do it. Here for the Batwing? Yeah. You got one for me? Oh yeah, don't worry. Yeah, we'll Welcome to the Lego store. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, so I'll definitely grab a Batwing. Yeah. Doing the Lego store vlog. 
I'm just gonna get the bat wing right now, get it out of the way so that I don't have to worry about it because I've been extremely stressed. I'm surprised they didn't bring out a gift with purchase of the bat wing. I like know, the... that's what we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. I honestly thought they would. I thought they were gonna keep with the theme. All right, so we got our purchase. It's all done, it's all made. I don't have to worry about it anymore. We picked up the set that we were going for and I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But for now, let's take a look at what they have in stock here. Again, we're supposed to stay behind these yellow lines. If you want something off the shelf, you're gonna ask one of the brick specialists here to pick it up for you. That way everybody's not handling all the stuff, standard stuff from the Lego store in 2020. Mario section has definitely gotten a lot smaller since its release. And they're the Star Wars. I'm probably gonna end up picking those up at some point, but not in a big rush for them. I do want three of them to do the big Vader eventually, but not in a huge rush. Down there, we got the UCSA wing and the Tanta 4, which may be retiring at the end of the year. Resistance Transport, Death Star Final Duel, the Sith TIE Fighter, and the AT AT Jazz. Temporarily out of stock on the LEGO website, but they do have the AT AT in stock here at the LEGO store. Got the UCS Falcon, Luke's Landspeeder, Obi Wan's Hut, AAT, and look at that, they have one 501st Battle Pack here on the shelf. So everybody that's giving Ryan from MMR Productions a hard time, they are fairly easy to find here in Canada. Toys R Us does have a whole, whole bunch on the shelf as well. We got Yoda up there, of course no child yet. John Griggs the Starfighter, the Y-Wing, Dio, Razorcrest. So nothing else we need from the Star Wars line as of yet. Over here we have our Ninjago stuff and this is a set that I'm definitely interested in picking up. But I'm not going to be doing that today. That's the Destiny's Bounty 71705. They've had a couple pre-releases, previous releases of the Destiny's Bounty. And uh, I'm basically looking at that to try to get a Pirates of the Caribbean fix. Over there, I'm not allowed past this line here. But over there we have our Batmobile. The new Batman truck, whatever that thing's called. Some Minecraft sets. Down there we got the Batcave. Iron Man helmet, our Avengers sets, which is nothing that I am interested in right now. Up there we have the pirate, the three-in-one pirate ship from the creator line, and Brickhive was building the little cabin that's in there on his stream last night when I jumped in there. And the Assembly Square, it's probably my favorite modular building, is that Assembly Square that they have out right now. Not that I've gotten into that line very much yet. We got architecture, the James Bond, Aston Martin, the White House. Here's the Elf Clubhouse, which is the display they took down to replace it with the Batwing when we were waiting outside. A bunch of the Lego art, and it looks like we're get, maybe getting a bunch more of those in that lineup coming in 2021. Pirates of Barracuda Bay, also a set that I'm hoping to get before it goes away at some point. We do have the bookshop half built. Trying to convince my wife to finish that one off. Mickey and Minnie, London Bus, Haunted House, Corner Garage. You got Stud Cities, got the Corner Garage, just picked that up recently. I think he's gonna be building that on a live stream. Central Perk, got the Lambo there and the Bugatti, the Technic Rock Truck and the Libera Excavator, Dom's Charger. This is also a set that I will probably be picking up at one point, but here in Canada, it is for $159.99 at Costco. So I'll be picking it up from Costco if I ever do pick it up. And here's the new Mindstorm 5-in-1 set. $459, but again, it comes with a lot of robotic and movable motors and stuff. So that's probably why the price is up there. Starting over here in the other corner of the store, we have our Lego City stuff. And this is a ship that is pretty cool, but honestly looks better on the box than it does in person. I'm not sure why this is all one piece and why they didn't do that brick built style, but after seeing that on display, it doesn't really interest me at all. Some Speed Champ stuff and Monkey Kid, which I don't believe is doing as well as they thought it was gonna do out here, but. What do I know? Here's the hidden side. 
Mystery Castle. Seems to be a pretty cool set. Here they have it on display here. Not too bad, but it's one of those things that I'll wait till it goes on clearance at some point and maybe pick it up. Into the Harry Potter. So here's our Diagon Alley, $499.99 here in Canada. And our buildable Hedwig, which I also don't have. But one set that I've been looking for and they have it in stock is going to be the Harry Potter Attack on the Burrows, 75980. Eileen has put this together. I've been looking for it. They have a couple left here in stock. They've already sold one this morning. So I'll let you come in and pick it up. So I think I'm going to pick that thing up too because I do have some money socked away for another purchase that I was planning on making and I'll just have to make that up. Ask the man there to grab the set for you and he will bring it over to the cash. And that's basically all we got going on in the Lego store today. They do have some advent calendars out here getting ready for the Christmas time. And I think I was supposed to look for that Halloween hayride. I mean, said you should pick up that Halloween hayride for the kids for Halloween. And I think I may do that. Oh, there's the grand piano. First time I'm seeing that in person here. Yeah, it's just not a set for me. It is a beautiful set, but it's just not a set for me. Oh God, that was uh, more than I had expected, but. All right, we made it home from the Lego store and we have our purchases here. I'll show you guys exactly what we got. Start with this bag. I did end up picking up the Harry Potter set 75980. The Attack on the Burrows comes with 1,047 pieces. This is a set I wanted ever since I saw it uh, be announced that it was coming out. I just think it's really cool how they kind of built the house on this little bit of a lean there. If you look, the top floor is leaning a little bit. And with all Harry Potter sets comes with some amazing minifigures and I'm really excited to have it because I've been looking for it and it's been sold out on the LEGO website ever since its release. So I picked up the Attack on the Burrows and because of that, I was able to get this 30420 poly bag. And I already have one of these, so we'll possibly be giving that away to somebody at some point in time uh, because I really don't need two of them. And then I also picked up two of 40423, 148 pieces. It's the hay wagon ride. Uh, I got one of these for each of my kids for a Halloween present there. Recommended by one amazing viewer of mine. So I took her advice and picked those up for the kids. We got one more big box back here. Obviously you guys know that we picked up 76161 2363 pieces recommended 18 plus it is the batwing beautiful set can't wait to build this thing i'm really excited about it i already got my spot picked out i'm gonna hang it on the wall right there can't wait to get this together i'm gonna be doing that with martin from lego fan uk as soon as he gets his and because we got that we were able to snag Another gift with purchase, increase our value, 366 pieces, 40413, the Mini Robots Mindstorm set. And I think if we look in here, yes, we got one more gift with purchase, 30549, 59 pieces. It's a little Mindstorm poly bag. Probably won't be opening that. So that's what I ended up picking up from the Lego store on this trip, you guys. A couple hay wagons, a couple Harry Potter things, a couple Mindstorm things, and that beautiful 1989 Batwing. I hope you enjoyed going to the Lego store with me today. I know I did, because coming home with amazing sets such as these, it always makes it a good trip. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments down below about what you think about these sets. I appreciate every single one of you. And we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.